Well, here we are at Holy Week, the great week of the Christian year. And we come to Holy Week in 2022 so aware of the background noise and clamour, the hideousness of war, the terrible cost of pandemic, the confusion that there is in community and in places all around the world that we are praying for and so deeply aware of. Christians year by year by year enter Holy Week on a great note of joy and celebration as we recount and remember Jesus entering Jerusalem with those who were following him, thrilled to be with him, thrilled to be a, a, a band of fellow disciples, of friends, of people who had found in him a message of God's love which had brought life for them in a way that had not happened before. We enter Holy Week with that same celebration and a real sense of our need for him, our need of God's love, our need of being held together alongside each other. As we go through the week, we discover ourselves in different parts of that story of the last week. The story of Jesus with his very close circle of friends in the upper room on that Maundy Thursday night, sharing with them one last lesson of love as he stooped down and washed their feet and invited them to know lives of loving service just like that. As he shared with them the Passover meal and spoke of it in a most particular way. The sharing of a meal by which they would remember him. And then of course we make our way to Easter morning. To that empty tomb. To moments and glimpses of the resurrection which is the Easter story that we live 20 centuries later proclaiming that Christ is risen that his love is eternal and for all and in that we continue to pray and to work as people of hope for peace for there to be healing and transformation an end to violence, an end to discord, and a way of seeing a self-offering life, of caring for all God's people, of telling his story of grace. It is such a rich time of the year. It is the most important week for us Christians, and we enter it with real sense of God coming to us as we come to him. This sonnet, written by Englishman Malcolm Geit, is called Palm Sunday, and it's a wonderful, wonderful piece. Now to the gate of my Jerusalem, the seething holy city of my heart, the Saviour comes. But will I welcome him? Oh, crowds of easy feelings make a start. They raise their hands, get caught up in the singing, and think the battle won. Too soon they'll find the challenge. The reversal he is bringing changes their tune. I know what lies behind the surface flourish that so quickly fades. Self-interest and fearful guardedness. The hardness of the heart. Its barricades. And at the core, the dreadful emptiness of a perverted temple. Jesus... Come, break my resistance and make me your home. May that sonnet be a prayer for all of us, that Jesus will make his home with us anew and we with him this Easter. The Lord be with you.